Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to make a custom picture frame. Uh, in particular, I'll make a Star Wars themed picture frame uh, for the type of photo you could get at Disney World uh, in Orlando. They have a ride there called Star Tours and they'll superimpose your image uh, on Star Wars characters and they give you a picture that's roughly about 9 inches by 8 inches. This is the uh, custom picture frame bezel that I'm going to be making, and I have a fake picture of George Lucas walking around at Disney World, but um, if you get a, a real picture of yourself or others, um, you can make a cool themed picture. This project is pretty straightforward if you have the right tools and materials. Of course, you'll need your picture. You want to get a map board. Um, that is um, larger obviously than your picture and either get the same size or cut it down to your size of your picture frame which you'll need. Um, I'm doing this on a laser cutter. I'm a member of Tech Shop so I have access to a laser cutter but if you have a laser cutter it'll uh, make the designs very easy. A computer with some kind of vector program like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw and then you'll want to look for um, the appropriate vector art um, on the internet uh, or design it yourself to decorate the bezel. Now I'm going to design the actual bezel with the Star Wars art and I'm just making a new document and I make it 12 by 12. Um, that's the frame I'm going to use. The picture that I'm using is roughly 9 inches by 8 inches, the one I got at Disney World. And um, I want to have an inch and a half or two around the um, picture to put my artwork. And I pasted my uh, picture. Um, actually, for, for my regular one, I scanned it and, and, and put it in there as just a um, guide and deleted it. But I'm going to use this fake one of George Lucas um, for this design. And I'm just going to start designing. I'm going to speed the video up um, just, to, uh, just to be able to show the entire process. With the video sped up, I'm just going to show you um, laying out this uh, this bezel. Now I'm opening up um, some Disney vector artwork that I found on the web and one of the things I'm doing is I'm taking just the pieces I needed uh, making sure that the um, the color for each of them is black. Uh, that's the color that'll tell the laser etcher to uh, to etch instead of um, instead of cut. And you can see I'm getting some Disney images and some Star Wars images because this is a Disney ride um, that's Star Wars themed and I'm laying this out here um, and this is going to be what is etched and clearly I'll need to make room in my cut uh, to take care of this and there'll be some overlap uh, within the picture. I'm going to continue with um, sped up uh, video here as I draw my cut line and what I'm doing is drawing the line um, that'll cut out the uh, internal part of the bezel and leave room for my picture. Now this cut line needs to be red. Uh, tell the laser cutter that it is cutting. Uh, and also 0.25 um, stroke width and Adobe Illustrator hairline and Corel Draw. And um, there are a number of tips to get those curves. Um, the best advice I can give you is to do a YouTube search on how to draw curved lines in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, because there are some tricks with where you put your points and how you curve your handles and those types of things. Now that I've prepared my file, I'm ready to uh, use the laser etcher and cutter. And this is uh, on the laser cutter at Tech Shop. And I'm just showing it etch away. And I'm going to speed up the video um, just so we can see the entire etching. Now here's the video sped up, of course, um, the laser etcher doesn't go this fast, but it's etching away that top layer. And the map board I've chosen obviously is, uh, it's blue with a kind of off-white or tan um, base color or under color. And so when the laser etcher gets rid of that top layer, it leaves that color. Obviously there are a lot of different um, colors you can choose from at, at a hobby store. Um, I actually got 12 by 12 map board, um, scrap map board, very, very affordably. And usually the uh, places like Hobby Lobby or Michaels in the U.S. have coupons, so um, you can uh, really get your materials at an affordable price. And as this finishes up etching, I'm actually going to slow down the video um, when we get to the cut line just so we can see the cut um, in real time. 
here it goes. So that cut line is cutting up basically the interior to reveal an opening. Uh, we can put the picture behind. And now that the um, now that the piece is done, I'm going to take that middle part out, and this is what the final piece looks like. You can stick your picture behind it, stick it in a frame, and uh, enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it inspired you uh, for some of your own projects. Have a great day.